Today we're gonna talk about Icon Scout. So if you are a designer or an artist, this can be your one-stop shop for all your designs and creative assets. It gives you access to a library of millions of images, SVGs, PSD files, and even 3D models in several 3D formats that can fill your needs. By the way, there is an Icon Scout plugin that you can use with popular design software such as Figma, Illustrator, Canva, and other software, or you can simply use the website. Me personally, I prefer the plugin because it is much more convenient, but more on that later. In general, I think that Icon Scout is a great service. That's why we're gonna talk about it in 5 minutes, since some of you guys will find it very useful. Even though the name has an icon in it, Icon Scout the website started as a marketplace for icons, and it now has a lot of animations, illustrations, and 3D assets that you can grab in any angle and move around the assets before even you download them. And this is not everything, because if you are completely new to using stock asset platforms, Icon Scout lets you customize colors to your brands and your clients' brands. Additionally, it offers one of the largest asset libraries on the internet, with more than 7 million assets that span more than 40 categories, which can be extremely helpful if you work in motion graphics, infographic content, ads, illustrations, and even gaming. And there are a ton of other assets which are added weekly to the library. It offers popular design formats like PNGs and PSD. But furthermore, it has an extensive library of 3D content with the support of GLTF, OBJ, FBX, and even Blend Files, which is great for Blender users. On a side note, Icon Scout recently released a tool called Illustration Kit, where it enables you to customize a themed illustration pack to your brand or preferred colors in a breeze. And yes, like I said before, Icon Scout also has an awesome 3D GLTF editor, allowing you to effortlessly preview, customize, and apply 3D elements. And you can even upload your own GLTF file using Blender and start experimenting on it as well. To access the GLTF 3D editor, you can simply go over to the GLTF 3D editor under the Tools menu. From here, on the left side of the window, you can browse through all the assets available in the GLTF format or upload your own GLTF file, and drag your mouse over in the right panel to view in different angles. Once you find your perfect visual, you can change the colors of objects using the color palette feature here, and you can browse through the colors from here and choose what fits your design and select a saved color as well if you want to. Now you can simply select download and choose the preferred format that you are looking to download for your project. And the best part is, this website offers its library as a plugin that fits right into your design workflow. So Icon Scout now has a plugin support on popular apps like Figma, Adobe Illustrator, Canva and many more which enables you to get your assets right within your current design environment. For example, here I have Figma. And all I have to do is go over to Plugins and type in Icon Scout. And since I have the Icon Scout plugin already installed in the app, it pops up right away. I'm looking for a 3D file that goes well with my design here. And all I need to do is go to Illustrations and type in, for example, Airplanes. There you go. You have multiple options to add into your design. I'm gonna select this visual here and add it as an SVG. And voila, it is that easy. By the way, it is not just the Figma plugin. It works seamlessly with other apps as well. So if you want to know how you can get access to thousands of highly customizable GLDF 3D files, along with more than 7 million other design assets, you can follow the link in the description and get started with Icon Scout today. So guys, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.